episode 13. This is more like it. Freed notices the Magneton interrupting their ship's service, so he decides to test his theory by roasting them, and surely enough, reception returns. Roy then rediscovers the land-stuck bird again. It's observing its flock before they take off, and Roy's all like, Birds can fly? Then Coco goes to get a snack, but the Vespi Queen doesn't share, and chases them off. After a little Scooby-Doo-esque chase scene, they take a dive. Wattrell checks up on them, and then they actually hit it off. So to teach the bird how to take flight, Roy decides to lead by example, but to not much avail. <laughs> and I genuinely love how they're characterizing Murdoch, this big, burly dude who's also really sweet. And he chats with Liko, thanking her for her kindness to Dot. Later, they run into Roy doing his training session with the bird. Much like Liko's grandma recommended to her, Wattrell just has to take the first step. And once it manages to, the team all celebrates it. I love how supportive they all are. Freed eventually tracks down the Magneton, but gets ambushed by a space creature, and this is where it gets good. How calm and assured Spinal was ordering attacks from afar? Ah, so cool! Once outnumbered and near overpowered, Freed terrestrializes Charizard. Yes! Return of the Funky Hat! And they obliterate the BEM. It was a short battle, but a very sweet one. To continue helping, Roy takes Ludwig's fishing line to simulate flying with the Watchroll. It started to stumble, but when push came to shove, it pulled through and has a deserved celebration. Out of gratitude, it attempted to fly again over to Roy, although it was unsuccessful and starts to plummet into the water. <laughs> and Roy should be a baseball player, never mind being a trainer, because his toss was spectacular and saves the Watchroll from, well, getting wet, I guess? and we see how truly competent Spinal is as a villain, cornering Liko in an alley, entrancing her with the BVM, then making off with her pendant. This episode had everything. Great character moments, terrestrialized Lazardon, our first capture, and a gripping cliffhanger. I'd say this gets an A.